Hello guys, uh, this is Erkin from HDD Recovery Services. Uh, today I wanted to talk about um, pretty much the most essential piece of data recovery equipment that any professional data recovery shop should have in their arsenal and that is what's inside of the box that I'm gonna open up right now. So for storage, I picked up uh, just a basic four terabyte NAS drive. It's, the machine is gonna be running all the time. Uh, this adapter, it's for uh, PCIe 3.0. Uh, that will help me things moving with that SSD that I got. It's a 950, uh, 970 Pro uh, from Samsung. Really good speed and great reviews. I don't know about the reliability, but I've had uh, Pro drives in many workstations in the past and they have never failed me. So let's cut it open. This unit is a PC3000 Express uh, with a solid state um, add-on and uh, RAID uh, data extractor edition. This is the magic box. They got some um, SSD manual, RAID manual. I'll have a look at those over the weekend. What's inside of this box is what I'm most interested in. I think this is just backing material. Some more backing material. This has got some weight to it actually. I, I'm surprised. Pretty heavy box. It's probably some, uh, some manual of for PC3000 itself is also inside. Ooh, this is nice. All right, so uh, the software comes on this flash drive. Pretty cool. The packaging, very nicely done. So you got a user manual uh, for PC3000 Express. License agreement, very important part of it. Since quick installation guide. Right, here's the good stuff. Packaging is actually really, really nice. So it's got cables for channel zero and one. We've got channels for channel two and three. Uh, power cables for such channels again. So you got ID, ribbon cables, um, adapters of different kind, uh, terminal, the third version, the very fast one, um, and bunch of other adapters, I guess, for like solid state uh, drives of different interface. Uh, these are the cables that are gonna be used for uh, the terminal. This is, I'm going to show you something very, very, very cool. Now, um, for uh, Western Digital Passport hard drives, uh, as uh, a lot of you know, uh, the, um, the board um, does not have a, a SATA interface. It's got a USB 3.0 interface. So um, in order to deal with those cases, uh, before um, I would normally have to uh, wire up uh, a SATA connector that I usually would cut off of the old PCB and wire it up directly. Now I just need the uh, SATA plug, no power plug, and uh, the uh, USB uh, connection on the native PCB from Passport uh, can be plugged in directly to this uh, USB adapter and this USB adapter gets controlled by the utility. In the utility, you can turn power on and off to this unit, and this unit will um, enable and disable power onto the device. This is a really, really useful piece. Okay, these cables here are for the uh, channel three and channel two. They go into uh, an older like ID type of plug and uh, to have them 
convert it to SATA, you just plug it in here. This is the most important piece of the package. The PC3000 Express, very nice. Top portion used to have a power connector like this. Now they've moved on to a newer ones. That's nice, less flexing, more stable. And they added uh, an intelligent power supply unit. So now you can, you actually have your graph going on, which is pretty good feature. You can monitor a lot of things with that. I'm excited. I'm very excited to put this together and I'm excited to make it work because uh, this is an extremely, extremely useful piece of equipment. So uh, as, as a reminder, this, is a, um, this version uh, has SSD add-on. So it, will allow, um, it supports great number of uh, solid state units that are currently present on the market, uh, as well as it has ability to uh, work with RAIDs in data extractor so you can add multiple drives and construct them live. You don't have to use any third party uh, data recovery software to reconstruct trades manually, which is an awesome feature and a very, very powerful feature also. So there's a lot of uh, ton, tons of useful information in the user manual regarding that tool, uh, which uh, I'll definitely be going over. Uh, that's uh, it for the box. Now um, let's see what else we got. So yeah, the 970 is what's going to be used for the OS. It has to be used with this adapter. Um, I'm probably going to run two monitors for that setup. That way uh, I can break out four, uh, individual ta four individual applications for each channel. And uh, um, workstations, um, the workstation that I'm going to be using has a very convenient um, setup for um, hot swapping drives. Let me just show you that in a second. So there are four of these bays and uh, PC3000 has four channels. So I would want to add uh, the solid state will be on a motherboard in the PCI Express slot. Uh, but I want to add a four terabyte uh, for like storage and tasks and stuff like that uh, in one of these bays here. And currently it's just not going to fit. So I'm going to have to actually utilize one of the hot swap trays for that purpose, which will leave us only three empty slots. So I can only run, you know, conveniently, I can only run three channels, but this is very nice because they're actually marked zero, one, two, and three. So um, for channel zero, I can be using slot zero. For channel one, I can always be using uh, channel uh, one slot and they will always be uh, plugged in into the correct address because um, you just have to check out the task to see what which uh, channel was used for uh, the source drive in the first place. So I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to start uh, uh, putting on the operating system on this thing. And uh, yeah, once I get it all set up, guys, I will uh, uh, make another video to show you how, um, how the utilities work and things like that. Basically, just a quick overview of what uh, PC3000 Express has to offer and uh, why I think it's a, a must-have tool for any professional service out there. cables that are coming off of the motherboard that's connected they did not reach all the way as you can see I had to um, become a little bit creative <laughs> and attach it this way so I got a piece of uh, PCB out and I had like an old power supply that I just took this extension off of I'm gonna pull this off now because the Amazon arrived today I got this thing. So it's got female connections and it's got a male connection. And it's uh, 
the wires are all nice and black so that nothing is gonna really stand out like it's out of place yes and it is definitely long enough tool is right here behind me running great uh, went with uh, 950 pro samsung instead of 970 970 couldn't boot there was no overall feature on it and i couldn't have it detected by bias when it's posting up the operating system would just not load from uh, 970 so 950 is also really really fast unit i'm more than pleased with it 970 i am gonna end up using as a storage unit for my uh, flash projects because you do need as much speed as you can get over there um what can i say it's uh, been fun built and if you guys are uh, thinking about getting into data recovery industry, you should definitely check out the link in the description uh, and try to learn as much about their tools as you can. It's one of the main tools that you're gonna use in data recovery. And uh, honestly, um, like the amount of uh, devices that are supported by PC3000, it's, uh, it, it covers pretty much everything that exists out there right now for the exception of a few. So for those of you who've been asking questions on this channel uh, about what tools to use and how did you learn about this stuff and what can I do to learn about data recovery, I would like to become um, a professional in this industry. Things like uh, technical support and training, they can also assist you with that. So data recovery isn't an easy subject. Um, visiting a training course and learning everything about the tool and becoming a professional on it uh, will only work for very, very, very few people. I, I honestly don't know anybody who visited any training courses who can say, yes, I'm a professional after visiting a four or five or a 10 day course, whatever that number may be. It's something that you will learn as you go uh, with your experience, with your expertise, you will build up uh, that um, confidence and making sure that you know, you know the problems, you can solve them and go about your day. Uh, but if you're thinking about exploring data recovery, PC3000 is definitely a tool that you're gonna have to have. Um, highly recommend. And uh, if you're interested in checking them out, the link for them will be in the description of this video. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, comment what else is there to do oh the notification button those are those work great if you want to get notified next time the video drops uh, a lot of cases will be done using that system and um, if you guys have any questions or special requests let me know in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer thanks very much for watching and i'll see you guys next time